So network engineers, what do they do? What are their skill sets? What do you need to know to become a network engineer? We're gonna be talking about that today. Before we do get into that, please do remember to subscribe, clicking on that button and on the bell. I release videos every single week on all things tech. So if you subscribe, you won't miss out on any of those videos. Hey, also, why don't you let me know in the comments below if you're in technology, are you yourself working in tech? Maybe you've already got some technical skills and you're working your way up to becoming a network engineer. Let me know what your current role is. So my name is Emilio. I've worked in tech for a long time and have actually worked with a lot of network engineers, but a lot of other different IT roles. So let's start with defining the three tiered support model in technology. Now, what am I talking about? Well, you've got level one, level two, and level three. So if you're in technology, you're gonna fall into generally one of these three categories when it comes to support at least. Of course, then you've got development, and uh, that is sort of its own thing altogether. But we're now here talking about administrators, support people, help desk people, and we've got level one, two, and three, and they sort of will slot into one of those three categories. Level ones are gonna be people who work in some sort of a help desk or service desk role. Level two is gonna be people who are now going out to the floor, actually working a lot closer with the staff fixing computers, they're gonna be like desktop people, they're gonna be technicians, they're going to be support analysts and everything similar to that. And then level three, and level three are more infrastructure focused. These will include system admins and engineers, network admins and engineers, database people, security people, storage people, and everything that is sort of infrastructure focused. The network engineer falls into that level three. Essentially, a network engineer is somebody who's gonna be looking after the network in a company. So they could be responsible for the day-to-day -day support of network devices, of network infrastructure, or they could also be somebody who's working on projects in a networking capacity. Now, network admins, network engineers will also work very closely with other people in the technology space. So they're gonna be working closely with other system admins and systems engineers, and also with IT managers. Because a network admin cannot do it on their own, they're gonna need the systems person to work with them to actually get something built. So for example, a systems engineer, systems admin may build a server, but in the back end, they need the network engineer to actually go and set it up on the network. So what are some of these devices? Well, a network engineer is gonna be responsible for the management, for the setup, for the configuration, for the design of all the networking devices, such as routers, switches, firewalls, load balancers, proxies, WANs, so wide area networks, links between offices, the network speeds, the internet speeds, and just ensuring that all of that equipment, all of that infrastructure is set up correctly and is working correctly. So making sure that it's been monitored, making sure that it's patched, making sure that it's secure. So if we're talking about security, of course, you're looking at, for example, a firewall for all the data coming in, all the data going out. So a network person needs to make sure that all the right data is going in, the right data is going out, that specific ports, specific IPs are not open on the firewall. You're only allowing the right traffic. If we're then looking at your switches, your routers, making sure that they're set up correctly, that they're configured correctly, making sure that they're set up with high availability so that if one switch goes down, the other switch is okay. Generally, they're gonna be connected through what's called a patch panel. You know, so for example, a port on a wall uh, at a person's desk, a staff member's desk is gonna have a port. That port behind the wall, up through the roof, down through the floor, is gonna run into what's called a patch panel. And then that patch panel is then connected into switching, which is then connected to all of the other network infrastructure. So making sure that all of that cabling is done correctly, but that all the ports on the switch are actually set up correctly. So the speed of those ports, what those ports have access to. Are they available on every single VLAN, on every single subnet, or is there segregation of the network? So if you're looking at multiple offices and you've got multiple sites, you've got routers in place, you wanna make sure that the traffic is being routed correctly from one site to another, using the correct routing protocol, thinking about things such as quas, quality of service, and then of course the speeds between all of these. You may wanna have VPN connections set up between your offices. You may wanna have dedicated connections set up between the offices. Of course, all of that equipment needs to be purchased. So the network engineer is not only going to be managing it, not only administering it, but they may need to buy it. Now we'll also say that depends on the company, right? We're looking at small, medium, large companies. If you're in a small company, then perhaps there is not going to be a dedicated network engineer 
and a dedicated systems engineer. Maybe they're the one and the same person. So the network engineer may actually also be responsible for systems, for servers, for storage, for data centers, these sort of things as well. So with the network being healthy, they of course need to report into some sort of an IT manager, giving them reports, health reports, security reports, making sure that everything is running as it should. We gave you a little bit of an introduction. If you wanna learn more, I've got a whole bunch of training courses online. You can check those out in my description. Why don't you let me know what you are doing right now in technology and also subscribe to my channel, clicking on the button on the bell. As I said, I release videos every single week on all things tech. So if you click on that, you won't miss miss out on anything. But that's it. Network Engineer is done. Thank you so much for spending the time. We'll talk to you next time.